What's up, YouTube? Same ish, different day. This is your man, Skills on the Sticks, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys episode number one of my new How to Play Blitz series. This is gonna be on freight, and I'm gonna be in a private match just by myself, just to show you guys the areas that you want to be in to protect your own goal. So first thing you want to do when the match starts, if you're on defense on this side, you want to make sure you close those do those doors. That's one less entrance that you gotta worry about, and this is a good spot to be in right here. I personally recommend either this spot. Or I'll show you in a second one. This one right here, this is where people will be at, but you don't really want to be right there. This one right here is also another good one if you're laying down. I don't recommend crouching there. If you're laying down right there, that's a pretty good spot. I don't think anyone's really going to get you. Uh, definitely not the very first time they go through there. This is also some other spots that you can expect to see people in, so just be aware of that. And um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys you know, how I like to go through the map when I play Blitz on this map. I do not go through the middle of the map because there's always people watching, whether it be Top Owens, uh, Top Warehouse. So you, you want to make sure you stay away from there. If this door is open, by all means, go through here and just check that corner. Because even if someone's camping on top of these stairs, um, by the time you just run through, you're going to score. They're not going to kill you. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, secondly... You know, if it is if it is uh, closed, what you what you could do is if it is closed, someone's probably down there on the bottom on the other side. You could probably play a little mind game with them and open it and come back around this way. Um, what I personally recommend you do is to throw the smoke like that. Uh, this is going to be I'm going to show you in a little bit, but when you have the tracker site, you can see people through smoke. I'm not sure if you guys know that, but you people will light up through smoke with the tracker site so you can go you know in there zoom down with the tracker and then you can pick a couple people off or if you don't want to you can just try to throw the smoke and try to run in there um if people are usually in those corn in the corners which i'll show you right now you'll be able to get in there so this is the other class if you guys are in more interested in uh you know using a tracker with smoke i personally don't recommend using the tracker when you're just in close quarters of combat because it takes a little while for me personally but this is what I'm talking about. Throw the smoke. Look down there with your tracker. People will pop out. You'll get the easy kills. Um, I like to play with the with the MTAR without the tracker side up when I'm just running around. So again, if you're on this side, your first thing you're gonna do is go close that. And if you have to patrol this, you know you can lay down right there on the bottom like I just did. I don't recommend this spot um, right there, crouching by the stairs, or this spot just because people can just run across the you know, around the corner and they can get into the goal very easily so that's you know that's a spot that you don't really want to be in um, besides the fact that it's like I said very cliche and people will know that you're in there so when you're playing here I had already used the smoke so I messed up so if you're gonna go on this goal also you can throw a smoke and you'll I just showed you guys the spots that you'll be waiting for them to come out of so you can throw the smoke and then look in there with your tracker site and you'll be able to spot people a lot easier um, and they won't be able to see you also when you come this way you gotta watch out for that second story um, I believe it's porters you gotta watch out because people look down into the goal from their second story right here and you definitely don't want to get shot in the back by them so that being said, I believe in a little bit I'm gonna get into I'm gonna get into some gameplay, uh, just showing you guys my whole um, just hypothesis and everything that is the reason why people are you know they're camping there. Just to show you guys that what I'm showing you guys here is very applicable to in-game situations. Um, so first of all, here we go, starting off as a as a game. There's somebody already camping over there, like I was telling you guys. Um, and then we go ahead and get a score now This is a very crucial part right here if you guys are ever right here You can always get people coming from the spawn and either going trying to go into that building or trying to come back around into your building um, If you're trying to go on a kill streak or you're almost on a kill streak I highly recommend you know just kind of camping out in there and kind of patrolling back and forth and you'll get a lot of kills like that So right here. There's someone again in that corner You know, I'm, I'm going on a high streak because I already know that they're there um, as you guys can see I'm still there a little bit kind of getting kills for my teammates to score um, I really thought I should have got that last one. Here you go, someone camping up top again. Like I said, you could use the smoke if you want. Uh, and then once you get more comfortable with you know where everyone's camping at, then you can try and use it without the silencer. But there's someone again right there. Now, if he was more tucked up against the side of the wall, it would have been a lot harder for me to kill him. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. And you know, if you want to on goal and you and you have someone on the bottom of for you of, for you right there on the bottom of that goal then you can definitely go on top of stairs and, and try but and try to you know protect your goal but it's really hard when you're either on top stairs or anything like that because that goal once someone comes across the corner if you're not super focused on them uh, then they're, it's gonna be very easy for them to score <laughs> me right there you know unfortunately I didn't I didn't get the score because 
you know, he got off some good shots. You know, if I would have thrown the smoke, thrown the smoke, I would have got in there. On this particular video, I, I believe I only had like three perks because I wasn't able to set up my class all the way. So that's why I don't have the smoke or grenade in hand. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you guys are interested in watching this new series of Blitz. I appreciate your views, guys. Thank you for everything that you guys have done, for, you know, for me as far as watching the videos. And um, just give me your feedback, guys. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. I'm Skills on the Sticks, and I'm off. Good job. Report to command for debrief.